In this Natron Beginners tutorial I will show you how to convert a colour image into black and white. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK. Well, one of the first things you need to uh, think about when working in something like Natron is especially if you're just working with a single image is that what you have here is a default setting of 250 frames so if you're going to work on just one image the first thing you need to do is in the project set settings here you've got something called the frame range first we'll say 1 and the last we'll say 250 change the 250 to 1 so effectively you've only got one frame should be showing in the middle here I won't go into the reasons uh, why there's 250 frames um, now the next thing you need to remember when working in uh, Natron is most of the work that you will do especially when you get a bit more advanced at using it will be in this node group box here now there are little shortcut tabs here but as per a lot of these things they're not as easy to use as just working in this box here once you get used to working in Natron so make sure that the viewer node here is selected if you're not sure just left click on it now the easiest way to bring an image into Natron is actually just open up your file browser select the image you want to use then reduce your file in size and just drag the image into this node group box and that will automatically connect the read to the viewer. Now if you want to do this manually with this viewer selected just right click in the node group and then next to image you have something called read and you can go through your images select the one you want and then left click on open I prefer to use my file browser because I can actually see what the image looks like OK. Make sure that the read node is selected by left clicking on it and then right click in the node group and then next to colour what you're looking for is the saturation node tab left click on this and because you selected read first should connect it the saturation node between read and the viewer in the properties box here it says saturation there's a little slider and you can increase or decrease the saturation so if you slide this all the way down to zero you'll end up with a black and white image now you need to render this image so again in the node group make sure that you've selected the saturation node you don't want the viewer or the read node selected so select the saturation node right click in the node group box and again next to image left click on right Now you'll need to decide where you're going to save your image. So I'm going to save it on desktop. Now in this box here where, where I've got home chipper desktop, what you need to do is first place a forward dash and then give your image a title. Now you've got options here where it says file type and at present because I brought a JPEG or a JPG image in 
is actually identified that. If you left click on this, you can change the image format. So many of them here, you'll probably be here all day looking through them. Um, I'm going to go back to JPG, but you'll find PNG and all sorts in there. OK, so we've got this set up JPG given the file a title and it's recognized that it's a JPEG or JPG file so I'm going to just left click on save and now all I need to do in this right box here all the way down the bottom there's a little button that says oh by the way just make sure that this right tab is actually connected from the saturation node and again back over to here left click on render and you'll see something come up that says it's 100% finished and hopefully you should now have a black and white image of your original color image in the file or place you decided to save it Hopefully that helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.